Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this, I'm going to continue real-time scenario videos. Uh, today, I'm going to cover one of the real-time scenario is how to read or how to handle complex JSON files. How to read or handle complex JSON files. So this is one of the requirement uh, whenever primarily you are working with a, a social media as a source. So API based, web based data. Okay. Web API as a source. So we can expect complex JSON files. So how to read and how to convert because when it comes to JSON, JSON is semi-structured data, semi-structured data, and you need to convert into structured format, structured format for analysis purpose, or uh, while storing data in Parquet or Delta table, uh, we should convert this semi-structured JSON file into structured format. So how we will convert that, and uh, how to achieve uh, uh, handle or how to, uh, read complex JSON files and even how to read how to read multi-line complex JSON file complex JSON file so if data in multiple lines so how to read that so we'll see with the examples and uh, primarily when you are working with a uh, web API like uh, we see Facebook uh, uh, JSON data example you can find our facebook and peter or tripadvisor jason Just I'm going to show you sample files here. See this, this is one of the tripod feature. You see data, sample data like this, sample data, and one column within that another column. Okay, even some columns are complex data types, complex and data types. So let's understand, let's take a one sample file from Google. So open source, adopt, json files so here you can find uh, in this website uh, open source on our website you can find some sample json files and uh, here you can find multiple json example you see that this is one of the json simple json data and uh, this is one of the complex json data like this you can find multiple json examples this is also another complex json data okay so what we will do we'll take this data Copy this, copy this, and create a notebooks in Databricks. Let's create how to handle complex JSON data file. So create a data file using dbutils.efs.put. This time I'm going to create a data file in scenarios and JSON complex json dot json and create this file yeah so this is the data file whatever i copy just i'm creating as it is and uh, overwrite if file already is available and if you look at this uh, this row is started here ending here you see this okay and this row is started here ending here so these kind of data files we'll call it as multi-line json files multi-line json files let's create a data frame using a spark read api spark read json and uh, provide the path and i will show you that so whenever you go with a by default by default it will read as corrupt record 
So why? Because this data is in multiple lines, data in multiple lines. So here, if you look at this multiple lines, then how to read multi-line JSON file? So we need to provide one option. We need to provide one option, multi-line true. multi line true then it will read json data now this is a json data only one record is there you see this the record but some data types are complex data types let's understand here you see this this is the data types and batter topic so id name ppu and type all are the normal data types but if you see batter struct data type even toppings array data type so array, struct, map, these three are complex data types. Complex data types. So one is struct, array, map. So these three are complex data types. So you can expect a multiple values like a list and one column within that another column like a dictionary, okay, even so this kind of data types will call it as complex data types let's show you that if you look at this one column within that another column batters there is another column called batter there you can see again list python list inside that again dictionary dictionary means you see one column that value another column that value okay and similarly topping also topping also array data type array data type means list if python list it will treat as array data type you see this python list it will treat as array data type inside that you can see struct struct means individual columns so whenever you are looking for whenever you are looking for uh, flat run the data how to how to flat run complex data types data so we can use we can use explode function explode function for array data type array data type we can use explode function to flat run the data so here you see this is a python list this is python list and uh, here also you see inside batter there you see python list means array data type inside batters you see array data type if it is a map or struct data type how will refer so we will refer like this so consider if i use a select batters dot batter if it is struct data type we will refer like this in this column another column is there in this that column array data type is there so struct is nested data type struct supports nested data type Okay, and if it is array, just we need to use explode. Let's show you that. You see this. If you want to use, then you can use the explode. So array, which we can flat run that. So we need to import that function from functions Import explode and there is another function called call i will tell you we are going to use that function as well you see this so it is exploded data like this but i want to create a proper data frame with all these columns proper data frame with all these columns just a print schema you can see that internal schema this is the schema. These are our normal columns. And uh, this, this column and this column, we need to explode. This column, this column is a complex data types. Array, then inside that struct, here also struct, inside that array, then struct, you see this. So first we need to explode array, then we'll see that. So what we can do, on top of this, we can create another column final using with column using with the column you can we'll go with the first two toppings let's see this this is one of the 
column. So I will explode. I'll explode using explode function. Then column name is topping. So I'll create a new column. Then you can see So new column will be created, exploded with the data. This is data. topping explode. There you can see ID and column. So what we can do, we can create another two columns. We can create another two columns using with column, topping ID from this column dot ID. So we can use the call function. So inside this, you can find this, you see this ID and type. So I'm going to get topping ID and topping type and create two new columns. Now you see this. So topping ID, topping type, you see it's exploded and then inside this individually we extracted that. So individually we extracted, if it is a struct column, which we will extract dot this column inside that this column is there. This is the column, their ID and type is there. So individually we created. Then you don't need this column. Even if you don't need this column, you can drop that. If you don't need those, you can use the drop. So I don't need uh, this column. And I don't need this column. So now you can see perfectly. Topping ID, topping type. Similarly, this batters, batters inside, inside is having batter ID, batter type. So that is also we need to explode properly. So similarly, what we will do, we will add a new column using a with column batter explode. So using explode function, which I am going to explode batters dot batter. So it will create a new column and exploding these values. Let's show you that. You see this. This is batter ID, batter type. From that, we can create additional two columns. From that, batter ID using call function. So here you can find ID, dot ID. Then we can create another column. type. So now let's verify. You see batter ID, batter type is available. Now we can remove these two columns, which is exploded and this batter's columns. Using a drop transformation, we can remove this and we can remove this. Now you can see the final data frame will be having flat run data, which is a 28 records. Actually, initially it is a single record. Then we exploded ID, name, PPU, type. These are not normal data type, but we exported, I can say we exploded our flat run topping and batter columns individually, topping ID, Topping type, batter ID, batter type. Actually, inside that data is like this. Batter, their batter ID, batter type. Topping, topping ID, topping type. So this is semi-structured data, which is a complex data types, which we flat run. And this is structured format. Structured format means all you can see integer or you can say double and string data types. This is in tabular format, which is flat run data. So what we used here, we used the explode function 
for array data type. For struct data type, we extracted individual column like this. Struct is one of the data type, which you can individually extract a columns if you have an extended columns like this. Array data type, we can use explode data, explode function. So this way, which we can handle complex JSON data in PySpark. So next video, what we will do, we can see uh, this is manually, like uh, I have created manually. If you have a huge number of columns, if you want to create dynamically, what we can do, we can go with the using a function and using this explode function, which we can dynamically create columns and remove these columns. It's a dynamic option. These are our static. So manually, we added a column, we removed a column. But instead of that, if you have a, a number of nested columns, so if you want to do dynamically, we can go with another approach that we will see in another video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. See you in another video. Have a good day.